All right, everybody, my name is Ian Fiverr, and today we're going to be taking a look at Zin Zhao and his little bit of a remake that will be coming up in the upcoming patch, which will include, of course, the Stealth rework to Evelyn and Twitch and the new champion Zira. You will be able to see a little bit of Evelyn and Zira in this game. Kind of just wanted to test out new Zin Zhao, so I was just messing around a little bit, and it turns out that... He's pretty strong, so I'm kind of liking the news in Zhao, but let's go ahead and just kind of talk about what's being changed just a little bit and go from there. Zin Zhao has a new passive. It is called Challenge or Challenger. Basically what this means is the first target that Zin Zhao hits, or if he decides to switch targets, it will switch. But Zin Zhao, with his auto attacks or his audacious charge, will mark this target and, quote, challenge them, which will shred their armor by 15%. And kind of his other abilities will change a little, or his ultimate will change a little bit based off who he has challenged. Now, Three Talent Strike doesn't really change much. It does get a AD ratio, so it is not simply just your base AD plus the small damage that you gain per attack. So it actually helps scale Zin Zhao towards that later phase of the game a lot better, especially compared to what he was. He didn't scale at all. Now he certainly does, especially with this new passive of his. So I'm liking this change quite a bit. Uh, as the game goes on, you'll see that he does a lot of damage, and that 15% armor shred is really good. That's I'm quite happy with this. So his W has changed a little bit as well. It has gone from passively giving him attack speed and upon activation giving him bonus attack speed to uh, Battle Cry will now have his old passive. Every three basic attacks, he will heal himself for a flat amount, which increases with every level that you put into battle cry it also has an ap ratio i don't know what the ap ratio is but from what i hear it's not half bad but the attack speed steroid is still there i think it's up to 60 percent if i could be mistaken there i think it, it but it's it's a nice attack speed steroid for sure you get a lot of attack speed from it and you just absolutely destroy things if you're auto attacking and i really like that about the new Zin Zhao. they have certainly made him more of an assassin anti-carry but i'll get back into that in just a minute his e audacious charge hasn't changed whatsoever from what i can tell if anything it does a little bit more damage i could be mistaken doesn't look like it's changed at all though his ultimate has changed a little bit, and I really like this one. This is what's going to make Zin Zhao Zin Zhao. The uh, actual ability itself hasn't changed. The Crescent Slash is still AoE ability. It does damage based off percentage of their current health, and for every champion that it hits, Zin Zhao will gain armor and magic resist but the really cool thing about this now is once you charge or auto attack and challenge a target anything else that you hit with your ultimate will be knocked back and at first i didn't think the knockback was going to be all that deadly or anything like that, all that important but after seeing it holy crap it is comparable to gen ultimate not maybe as far but it's far enough where you can charge at a carry Alt, get their team away from them. They can't peel off, peel you off. And with your three talent strike, you can pretty much kill any squishy character in the game if you decide to build him as a AD anti carry kind of all DPS character. Now I haven't had a chance to play him as a tanky DPS bruiser yet, simply because the way his new kit kind of seems, you really want to be up in somebody's face because he's going to be able to take down a target very quickly now you kind of see me in some of the footage here just charging in and dying that's going to happen I, I'm sure that if you decided to get tanky you would be able to survive a bit longer but I do think that the alternative in the sense that you don't instantly kill a carry in three hits might not necessarily make up for that fact and you know, I, I like the new Zinzao I really do and I'm really excited to play him in a uh, 
off the PBE because unfortunately the PBE is full of people testing things, they're not necessarily taking things very seriously. I certainly wasn't. I just wanted to see what the new Zinzao is capable of, and it certainly does look like he can scale, which is the big thing. And I really do like his kind of new get into that carry space and kill them kit. I'm curious to see if he's going to see some play after this patch, but I definitely think the same problem that Zinzao. <coughs> Excuse me, Zinzao has had in the past. He's going to be a very heavy pub stomper in low ELOs and low level games. Zinzao is going to be an absolute menace to deal with. And that's just the nature of this character, I feel. And we'll see. The fact that he scales now and his ganks are going to be pretty deadly. I mean, his ganks were already deadly, but now that the fact that he scales and his ultimate can really help in team fights. I'm curious to see if he'll get some play in the higher bracket, but I definitely think this is a buff to Zin Zhao, and I'm really excited to play him, and if you guys haven't had a chance to do so yet, please go ahead and go to the PBE and do so. If you are even curious about Zin Zhao and you've never played him before or you liked him in the past, I think you're going to be very happy with the changes. But that'll be it for me today. My name is Hyan Fiber, and hopefully we'll get a chance to look at some of the other changes that come out this patch. And until then, I will see you next time.